Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be episode 7 of Building Theed. As you can probably tell, this week I've been a little bit under the weather, so I lost my voice for a few days, and I'm only just now starting to get it back. So some of the clips in this video will sound like this, and some of them will sound normal. But with that out of the way, let's get started. Alright, so this is the first of two orders that I got for the flash beater. Pop this open. First thing is the invoice and a bunch of teal. So the majority of the parts that I got were actually from a store overseas and there was only a few pieces that they didn't have. So this store actually had all of those pieces that the original one did not have. So first thing we got are the curved cut wedge slopes. And then one of these one by four curved slopes some regular brackets one of these because i actually needed just one of them to finish it some of the inverted brackets in teal a two by two plate the other side of those wedge curve slopes the left side of the two by three wedge one by one plates couple of these which are going to be used for underneath the lights, some clips, one by three plates, regular curved slopes, some of these one by three jumper plates, and then the biggest thing that this store had was a ton of the cylinders for the lights. Alright, so this is the main order, the one that came from overseas. And honestly, I'm a little bit scared because this seems like a really small package for everything that I bought. But we'll go ahead and open this up and just make sure everything's in there. It is really crammed in there, so maybe we're okay. Alright, they actually sent it and a Lego Friends box inside out, which is kind of funny. But here we have all of the teal. I'm not gonna really be able to go through exactly what it is, but they shipped it in Lego bags. So you can kind of see some bigger plates, some jumper plates, and just corner plates, random things. This is more tiles. These are all the round pieces. These are some of the more specialized pieces, wedges, things like that. And these are the really small tiles. And then this is the windscreen. I bought another one of these because it was like 10 cents and I have another land speeder that I still have on display. So I just grabbed another one of those so I could have both of them. And then these two are unrelated, but I got the Baby Yoda and BD-1. So I'm super excited about that and let's get this stuff opened up. All right, so this is the flash speeder in all the right colors. This is fully teal and I'm super happy with this design. I'm really proud of it. Just giving you guys kind of a look. I'm really happy with the interior. It's super clean and then the shaping all the way to the back and especially the engines. I'm super happy with the fact that the light gray is all in its own row and it's not seeping out into the teal and the teal isn't seeping into the light gray. 
and just the overall shaping of this I'm really really liking the way that it looks and I do have a Nabu security guard that we can go ahead and put in the driver's seat it's got plenty of room in there and I think it looks really nice and then the back seats do function as well so we can take another security guard and pop them in those like that and you can kind of see what that looks like so I can take this off of the stand and kind of show what they look like together here we have a battle droid just kind of standing in front of them for scaling and I think that it really works well I really like the teal color for this even if it's a little bit more blue than it's supposed to be I think it really looks nice and I think that the added amount of color that this is going to bring to the mock definitely makes it worth it Daniel did go ahead and send me some more pictures of his progress. So here you can kind of see what he's done. He put in a bunch of filler brick, raising up the floor to where the road is going to be. And he built the wall all the way across two gray base plates and did a bunch of the water. As you can kind of see in this last picture, most of the water on those two gray has been completed. And he did the corner section here and wired up a light. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode seven of Building Feed. Now, I know this wasn't a huge video, and a lot of that was due to the fact that I couldn't, like, talk and make video this week. But we did get the flash speeder done and built, and I'm super happy with the way that it came out. So that is a huge thing, and hopefully next week I'll be feeling better and be able to start getting back into more progress on the mock. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.